Hello Autobots and Decepticons, my name is So Mungry and I got a quick update video for you guys today. And today, August 29th, 2012, there has been an update to Transformers Fall Cybertron Multiplayer. And this update affected all four classes, so I just want to run through the changes that are made. And let me know what you guys think about these changes in the comments below. High Moon Studios said that they made the changes with statistics and from what they were hearing about each class and they tried to improve and make every weapon and ability more useful and more equally balanced throughout the game so I'm just gonna run through the different changes with you guys let you guys know and then let me know what you guys think about the changes let's start out with the infiltrator the scatter blaster damage is increased to 15 per pellet from 12 those who got early access to the demo know the scatter blaster started off as a beastly weapon and then they said that they overshot it by lowering it too much, so hopefully they found the right setting for that. Next for the Infiltrator, the Fire Blast upgrade burn damage has been increased from 15 per second to 20 per second. Their reason for that is they said the reduction in the pellet damage was not being offset enough by the fire damage, so they upped the fire damage a bit. Each shot will do an extra 10 fire damage. And the last change to the Infiltrator was the EMP intercooler upgrade now changes the grenade recharge to 10 seconds instead of 7.5 and I guess some people are running around spamming the EMP grenade and you can't do that as much now. Alright next class was the scientist. The gear shredder increased the homing. They said the weapon was showing up as their weakest of all weapons and they thought it was best to improve their homing function. And the second thing on the scientist was the sentry damage. It got increased from 8 to 10. And they didn't think that the sentry was given that good of an offensive boost, so they thought this would help. Next is the destroyer class. They reduced the thermal rocket cannon damage from 300 to 250. And so they said that the destroyer was showing up as the most powerful class. And they thought the thermal rocket cannon needed to be reduced a little bit. Now I'm indifferent on that one. I thought maybe a reduced a little bit, but not 50, maybe. Maybe like 25 to 35. Because I feel like the thermal rocket is a pretty slow weapon as is. You only have one in the chamber, so it should do quite a bit of damage. And then they also increased the damage radius and damage on the Chaos Rift Combustor. And they said you should be doing closer to 300 damage if you manage to hit a guy with both the initial blast and the cluster bomb. And they were hoping that this would make this gun a little bit better. And then they also changed the barrier cooldown. They increased it from 7 to 10 seconds. They thought it was coming back too fast and it was always available. So now I'm kind of curious to see how the Destroyer will play now. He was pretty dominant before. They did reduce his thermal rockets a lot. I thought it needed to be reduced a little bit, but they did reduce it quite a bit, so we will see. The Titan, the Harvester damage is reduced from 20 to 17. They felt the combination of damage and healing was too much. And the next was the EDK Tech Bolt. They increased the damage to 140 from 115. So I think that's going to give that Tech Bolt a huge boost. And then the Flak Shield. Now it can absorb 500 damage instead of 666. The Flak Shield was showing up as the ability of choice over the Whirlwind. So they wanted to even that out a little bit. So overall, I think the changes to the Destroyer and the Titan will help out balance the game a little bit. I'm curious to see how the Destroyer will work with such slow reloading weapons still. I'm hoping he will still be useful. It would be nice for him to still be a powerhouse. And the Titan, I'm not too worried about him. He takes a ton of damage. And the Scout, I feel like his Scatter Blaster, or excuse me, the Infiltrator, I feel like his Scatter Blaster being upgraded will actually give me a reason to use it because I've been using the Subsonic Repeater a lot and I like it. And the sentry damage will actually give me an option to use the scientist more offensively. I mainly use him for healing right now to support my teammates. It's always important to have someone on the battlefield willing to heal your teammates. It definitely helps out the entire team. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick update video. Remember this is for August 29th, 2012. And remember to leave a comment, let me know your thoughts. And don't forget to rate the video and subscribe for more Transformers. Have a good day everyone.